Right guys, it's a great day on the mesh today. Lots of users that I haven't seen before and many that I have um, popping in now. Apologies for my sort of messy and dirty desk. Um, I've just kind of, this has taken me a bit by surprise this video. So <laughs> I just wanted to kind of um, show you what's going on because it's pretty exciting. So we've got like stations coming in from all over the place here. Gloucestershire, um, we've got... Um, Bristol as well. I've saw Bristol on here as well. Somebody else popped up Dragon there saying that he's moved over from there you go, moved over from Meshtastic. So that's interesting. I wonder, you know, if if um they had much luck with Meshtastic or obviously just trying out Meshcore and, and and seeing what's going on is probably probably quite exciting. Um so just a little note about this setup as well that I've got running, which is I'm using to sort of monitor what's going on just to check kind of how much traffic there is actually on the on the band and because obviously if there's kind of um, private channels set up then if people are talking on private channels then it's going to potentially be um, you know showing traffic my end um, but that doesn't seem to be the case at the moment and um, obviously I can't read the um, messages on the on the private channels and stuff like that but you can see that there's traffic there anyway the point of this is i've got an sdr run in here which is just connected to like hack rf so that's just going to be monitoring my like super local um frequency so you can see up here 869618 and then i've got Recroft's packet analyzer which is absolutely excellent and what this allows you to do what this this is allowing me to do is basically just see packets coming in and so I can see them coming in on the SDR and then I can actually sort of see what they are, what those packets are. So if if there's like a, you know, a message happening from miles away, like coming through all these different repeaters here, then I'll see that in real time on this, um, on this packet grabber. So that's what I've been messing around with. So I can actually sort of see what's going on on the traffic. So for example, if my T deck is just silent and there's no messages coming in, but there's a load of traffic, going on then i'll know <laughs> so this is something that anyone can do this this is available at um client.meshcore.dev and it helps you kind of understand what's really going on on the mesh all i've got is just a normal companion which is a Helltech v3 just plugged into usb and that's connected to the bluetooth um of the uh, pc so that's it literally that's that's what i'm doing so as you can see these packets coming in um and they'll be loading in real time i want to get Recroft to update this um so that it, it scrolls up automatically so i don't have to scroll up but you can see there look there's a flood advert wgc omni uh to hartford east yogi so that's picked up and if we go into obviously discover here um on here you can actually see um maybe it hasn't come up on this one but that might be because my discover list is completely full but yeah that is what's going on at the moment and it is super busy um we've got so another public message terahertz a this sort of mesh i think is over berkshire way and at the moment there's one link that's kind of going to be improved i believe i believe like the the guy that's running a repeater i think it's harwell is going to improve the link between there because we're getting a lot of the messages over here uh, from Berkshire, but we're not actually been able to sort of um, talk the other way back. But we are able to, you know. I've just, I managed Bristol earlier, no problem at all. But yeah, it's getting um, it's getting good now, guys. So the conclusion is Narrow is absolutely smashing it on Meshcore. Um, it's working so well, and I don't think it's going to be that long before we've actually got kind of north and and south actually connected. I think there's a few more links that need to be made, but. It's, it's going to get to the point where we're going to have to do something about um, traffic. <laughs> it's probably going to end up a bit like the old BitNet network before the internet where traffic started to get so crazy that it, they had to sort of do something about it. But the good thing is there are ways we can deal with this. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. little insight into what's going on. Narrow all the way. Catch you next time.